Hey everybody, this is the Fat Man Vape Reviews, and this is the Fat Man himself, Rob. Today, what we're going to do is the specialty DIY. I told you it was coming, and man, it is. What we're doing today is we are going to set up the Fat Man Vapors Tutti Fruity Baduti. This is a DIY for beginners specialty edition. I am going to teach you how to make your own juice. Now, here's a few things you're going to need to make this juice. First of all, you obviously need your vaping equipment. I use a Pravari. I use an Icon Vape 801 cardamizer with a 510 to 801 adapter. I'm also using the F16 Bogue tank. And inside, I've already got a little fruity tutti duty. That's what I vape all day, every day. This is the stuff I vape nonstop all day, every day. This is my recipe. So. Let's begin. The very first item you're going to need. You're going to need an empty 120 mil plastic or glass bottle. The glass bottles uh, look like this. And this is one of the brown ones that I buy. It's a 4 ounce 120 mil glass bottle with a rubber tip. Some people don't like the rubber. Certain flavors rub off on that rubber and it's not so great. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do it in the plastic bottle. This is the regular setup plastic bottle. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go from there. All right. Now, a few things we're going to need for this besides the plastic bottle. We're also going to need three uh, what they call pipettes, pipettes, uh, whatever you want to call them, you can. These are the three milli uh, milliliter graduated cylinders. Um, they have little benchmarks on each one of these things. There are little writings that are engraved in there with measurements. Uh, the light behind me is too bad for you to see it, but they've got marks and numbers. You need three of these. You are going to need at least one rubber glove. I say two, and it's important, and I'll, I'll talk to you about this in a minute why, while we're mixing. You're going to need a 20 millimeter syringe. This is very important for making big batches, because today we're not making no small bottles. We're going to make a 100 milliliter batch. We're also going to need nicotine base. This is Wizard Labs, 100 milligram per milliliter, uh, 100 milligram per milliliter nicotine base. This is very, very strong stuff. This is the reason that you need the gloves. I am telling you and warning you right now, if you do not use these gloves, you can get chemical burns. I have several of them, and I'm going to show you here on my fingers. Uh, you can see the redness right here, the little marks down here, up here, and the severe dry skin and burns right here. Um, okay, so it's right there. This is very important. You must wear rubber gloves when you're touching this. I use 100 milligrams per milliliter because I'm experienced. I know how to do it. And it also is a lot cheaper when you go that way. Um, the next ingredient you'll need is vegetable glycerin. This is also from Wizard Labs. Now, you need to understand that with the Wizard Labs, there's a reason that I buy it from here, which I'll explain in a minute after I'm going through these uh, rest of the ingredients. The next ingredient, propylene glycol. Now, this is called PG. Uh, vegetable glycerin is VG. This is a much larger bottle. It's a 500 mil bottle. And this is also, again, from Wizard Labs. Now, uh, well, let's go through the rest of these real quick. Then we go to our flavorings. These are all from the Perfumer's Apprentice. Uh, they're also known as the Flavor's Apprentice because they have a subdivision in the company actually called Flavor's Apprentice. Uh, because I'm a DIY genius and expert, and because I have spent so much time and money with these guys, uh, I get a certified bulk account. This is a four-ounce bottle of Juicy Peach Flavor from Perfumer's Apprentice. There we go. There we go. Juicy Peach from Flavor's Apprentice. Uh, this is a four-ounce bottle. If you go to bulk, they're very cheap in the four-ounce bottles. The next ingredient you're going to need is dragon fruit flavor again flavors apprentice four ounce bottle 
the last thing that we're going to need to mix this all up is going to be the last flavoring. Again, TPA, the Flavors Apprentice, Tutti Fruity flavor. Now, the reason I get this from Wizard Labs, they are cheap. They are very, very good company, great customer service. They're timely. Even when they backed up, they always kept you informed of how long the order would take. Um, but the main reason is the quality of the PG and VG. And anyone who's watched my reviews understands I always talk about USP certi or USB certified um, PG and VG. They also hear me talk about kosher grade PG and VG. And they also hear about FDA approved PG and VG. When you use cheap, non-kosher, non-USP certified, you are getting junk uh, liquid. You're getting junk PG and VG. This PG and VG at this point will clog up your cardos. It'll taste like crap. The flavor will run out very soon. Uh, it's not a good vaping experience. A lot of the VG is so thick that even when you mix it at 70-30, like we're going to mix this, it doesn't work. The last thing you'll need on here is going to be a e-juice calculator. I suggest e-juice me up. That's the name of the calculator. I'll put the link below. Now, the reason I get from Flavors Apprentice, and I don't get all my flavorings from them. This is one company of many. There are some flavoring from Capella that are very good. A lot of flavors from Loran's that's really good. A lot of flavors from Flavors West that is very good. And a lot of flavorings from Flavor Art in Italy that's very good. There's Olive Nation. There's a bunch of them. Anything that is PG-based, non-sugar, this is what we're looking for. This is mostly, it shouldn't have any um, sciatic gum. It shouldn't have any um, sugar in it. It shouldn't have anything that you wouldn't want to vape. Uh, you can find concentrated flavoring pretty much anywhere, but make sure it's PG-based or VG-based or water-based. Uh, it can have small amounts of alcohol in it. Try to stay away from food colorings. That can be another thing. Uh, this is why I go to Flavoring Apprentice. This is why I go to Flavors West, Flavor Art, Loran's, and Olive Nation because all of these, most of their uh, flavorings, most of their liquids are good. So this is why I would suggest always stay within that realm of flavoring. You can find enough good flavorings to get a good enough mix. But let's forget about that. We're specifically here to only do this flavoring today. So let's go over and make it real quick. All right, first of all, we're taking our 120 ml bottle. Most of these come with caps like this, and they also come with these spouts. It's very important for those of you who know about e-juice to deal with the spout. Now, if you obviously, if you get any of this juice on your fingers or anything, wash it off immediately. That'll very, very much help. There's already a little bit on the bottom here. Uh, which wouldn't be in your case, but that's fine. Now, mathematically wise, we should always start with the flavorings first. This is a benefit to us mathematically. So we're going to take the juicy peach first. We're going to take that first. The percentage in this is 15%. Now, 15% means to me when we're going 100 milligrams per milliliter, 100% one milligram per milliliter. So this is what we're doing. We take 15 milliliters of this. Now this is gonna be a little harder because of this being uh, a three mil syringe, so we're gonna have to do it five times. That's one full. You put it up to the three, it's obviously self-explanatory. Fill it up the second time. Fill it up the third time. You fill it up the fourth time. And make sure you're getting a close three. If it's not exact, it doesn't really matter. But get as exact as you can. With the flavorings, it doesn't matter. The only one that it really 100% matters is going to be four. 
your uh, nicotine. Now when you're making batches this big it doesn't matter. If you're making a 10 mil bottle then it matters. If you're making a, t a 20, 30 mil bottle then it matters. If you're making 100 mils then it don't. Uh, unfortunately I only got to the two and a half mark on my fifth syringe full so I'm gonna have to go back in and get the other 0.5 mil to make it even 15. I'm almost out of this uh, peach there, there we go. That's 15 mils of the juicy peach, okay? You'll always want to set this on something uh, that's not going to drip, not going to hurt it, so we'll set it on this piece of wax paper right here, which is why I brought that. All right, and then we lid back up the peach. The next ingredient, the second main flavoring ingredient in this is going to be tutti fruity flavoring. This requires four milliliters of this, four percent. So we're going to four, the number four, uh, it's only at 2.5, so we'll put 2.5. And, and what's four take away 2.5? Yep, you got it, 1.5. So let's fill it up to 1.5. Again, these don't have to be uh, perfectly correct, but the closer you get, the more uniform you're used to the taste. If you love the taste, then try to get it as close as you can on this. Now, each recipe is obviously going to be different. You can play around. I suggest that you do play around with flavorings. Many of them you could start at 10%. There are some flavorings you can't. Uh, for instance, cantaloupe, um, ripe banana, uh, macchiano cherry. All of these are extremely potent flavors and 10% would make you sick. Um, a lot of people don't like So always try to find guidance. There's plenty of DIY groups in Facebook and the EFT cigarette forum is also a very great place to deal with flavorings. All right, now this is the last ingredient for flavoring wise. This is dragon fruit. And we only need 1% of this, so we only go one milliliter. Okay, there's one milliliter. Spray it in, we're good. All right, flavoring's done. That was that easy. Lit it up. All right, so now that the flavoring is done, let's do some math real quick. This recipe is 70% V or 70% PG and 30% VG. We always use the flavoring against the PG count. So let's let's do our math real quick. We have 15% plus five. Uh, 4% plus 1%. What is that? That's 20. Okay? Now, if we're using 70% PG and we take away 20, we have 50 left. That's how you do that. That's what we need left in our PG count. So now we're taking our PG and we're going to mix 50% of that, which is 50 milliliters. This is where the big syringe comes in. Even though this is a 20 cc syringe it does measure out 25 uh, it's got an added uh, five jet out of it so we add it to 25 okay this makes it easy we only have to do it twice get it in there pour again another 25 percent and it's 20 all right 25 and pour and again when you're making a hundred mil batch it doesn't have to be so precise. If you're off a milliliter or two on the PG, it's not going to matter. But try your hardest to get it as close as you can, okay? It makes it better that way. It makes it easier. That's PG done. Now we have 70% PG in our mix. We have 15% uh, of the juicy peach. We have 4% of our tutti frutti. And we have 1% of our dragon fruit. Now we need to go to VG. Now, the PG and VG you can use the same syringe with. I just say that when you're touching nicotine, don't touch that syringe to anything else because that's the one we need gloves on. This is the regular vegetable glycerine, Wizard Labs, and what we need, I use mine at 15 milligrams per milliliter of nicotine strength. If you like 30, which is the most you can get if you're using VG-based, nicotine you can only get up to 30 milligrams per milliliter let's say I was doing 30 I would use 30 milliliters of just the nicotine and no regular VG but because I like it 15 
milligrams per milliliter. I can only have 15 milliliters of the nicotine, so I have to use the rest of the 30% in VG. So this means I'm going 30% in VG. Now I'm going to have to uh, wipe this down real quick because I accidentally set it in the flavoring. You do not want flavoring syringes in your VG and PG, uh, especially if they're at the lower end of it because that taste will carry over. These, these um, flavorings are very super strength, very concentrated, so you will be able to tell the difference. Now, we're going to take 15% and understand VG is much thicker than PG. So it's much harder to get this to, to come out of its uh, bottle with a syringe. You have to pull really hard and steady. You have no room for air bubbles. See, now I just pulled almost 25 mils out of there. Uh, I didn't realize I, I had pulled so hard, so I slip it back down to 15. Again, scrape the sides of the syringe on the VG because it's really thick and it'll drip out if you don't. Okay? Now, you take that and you put the 15 mils into the bottle. Okay, and go a little slower because if you go fast you'll splash all that juice back up on your thing. That is the 15% regular VG. Now we're moving to the nicotine. This is where you need the gloves. The gloves are important. Any part you're going to be touching needs gloves. I should be wearing two gloves um, but I, I found a trick that I use that doesn't really do it. But anytime you're touching, many people wear face shields with this nicotine. It is that deadly. This nicotine, if you touch it, will burn your skin, chemically burn your skin. People, I've seen people with face burns on this. You need a face shield. All right? I'm grabbing the bottle with my nine gloved hand because I know this stuff will drip out. And I'm taking my syringe, again, I don't need to wash it out because I'm cross-referencing from VG. That's why I do this last. If you're doing it this way, using the same syringe for PG, you always go PG first, then VG, because you don't want the thick, ucky VG in the PG. So you go from PG to regular VG to nicotine. That's the way you do it. I'm holding this bottle. I'm using one hand here while I'm pulling up. And again... All we're requiring is 15 mils of this. Now, when you look at this, this must be exact. You must not get more nicotine than what you want. You understand the consequences of vaping higher percentage nicotine than what you're used to. If not, realize it can make you sick. It can make you uh, throw up. It can give you heart palpitations. It can make you sweat. Nicotine is very, very potent, and vapors tend to usually get their nicotine level way higher than they should because they're they're trying to some, uh, do that uh, nicotine fit and, and it doesn't deliver nicotine in the same way that it would in a cigarette. A cigarette's designed with special chemicals that get it in the blood system quicker. This takes four to six minutes to enter your blood this way when you vape it. That's why it doesn't seem as strong, but believe me, don't start out with huge amounts of nicotine just because you're having nick fits. That will go away eventually. All right. I got 15 mil. As you can see, the light behind this, this is much more of a peach color. It's really a light, light tan. That's another reason I use Wizard Labs. They have beautiful, top-notch grade nicotine. You can tell good nicotine from bad nicotine from the smell. It'll smell like nasty, rotten potatoes if it's bad. Uh, you can also tell it from the texture. Uh, the coloring, that light pale color, and you can also tell by if it makes you sick when you vape it uh, or not. If I vape too much of this, I'll sweat a little. I might get a little hiccup sometimes, but uh, I won't be throwing up on almost any nicotine level. Now what you do when you get this like this, you wrap it around because you don't want none of it dripping in the kitchen. You take your glove as long as you haven't done it and you wrap it up. Now I'm going to take this in and wash it real quick. Now please remember, after you wash that up, make sure you wash it real thoroughly. Wash your hands with soap, even if you don't feel you've got any on you. It's always better safe than sorry. Now what we do is we put our lid back on, our little uh, tip. We put that in. We put the screw-on lid as tight as you can. And then you shake the snot out of it. You gotta shake it as hard as you can. You gotta shake it as good as you can. You always have to shake this liquid really good. If you think you're shaking it too much, you're not. You must shake it worth everything it has. 
Now, as we talk for flavorings, a good way to store your flavorings. These plastic bottles are okay, but if you keep them around four or five months at a time, they lose their flavor during plastic, intera or plastic interaction. I vape 100 milliliters fast enough where it doesn't lose flavor. So I can do a 100 mil batch on this. If I'm doing a 1,000 mil batch, then obviously I'm gonna put it in glass. Same with the uh, flavorings themselves. I buy these eight ounce glass clear jars I have them print me a label at Flavors Apprentice and then I pour them into here so that they're not losing flavor. That's a very good idea to, for storage. Glass is better for flavoring. Glass is better for juice unless you're not going to hold on to it for a couple months. If you're holding on to a bottles of juices for two, three months, that's about the most you should hold them in plastic. If you're going to hold them longer than that, get glass. All right, now. I'm going to use another uh, wet wipe here to wipe down my side of my bottle just to make sure it's all clean. When it's held this tight, you can, very, very acceptable, to put it under the water. Now, with juice there's also a thing called steeping. What happens with juice when you mix it, the molecules bond together. This creates more complexities in the flavor. This type of juice, you can vape as right off the bat. But most juices, there's a three day to a, even a week waiting period after you make it and mix it before you want to vape it. This one's good after it's done. I can pour this into my, uh, my e-cig and the vape will be fine. But I always suggest at least two or three days of steeping. Now look how it looks with this. And I'm going to show it on the other camera right now too because it's a better clarity camera. Now look at this as I just mixed it. Do you see how white and milky that is? It's hard to see with the light, but look how white and milky that is. It's very thin, so it's good for vaping. It's very thin, but it's really white and milky. It will do that for a couple hours. Some flavorings do it for days before it clears up. This, all the flavorings in here are fairly clear besides the Tutti Frutti, and that's only at 4%. So it won't verify, it won't change the color until after it has a chance to steep for a few days. This is how it looks. You can use it at this, but I always suggest to wait, okay? The finished result you will have will look like this. Nice and clear, only a small tent of coloring, and that's what comes from the Tutti Frutti, okay? This is the same exact batch that I just mixed in here. As you see, 70-30 is very appropriate uh, for uh, very appropriate for the vaping plumage. Now, what this tastes like to me, it tastes like a peach. Well, I, I know what's in it, so I, it's a this uh, it's an unfair advantage, and I don't review my own juices. I know a couple vendors who do. They make their own juices and then they get on and talk about how good it is. I, I, I'm not selling this stuff to you anyway, so you don't have to worry. This tastes like a really good peach flavor with some tropical undertones. It tastes like I'm taking a hit of a peach mixed with a couple other tropical fruits with that undertone of dragon fruit. And dragon fruit is a really weird tasting fruit. There's nothing to really compare it to. If you've had dragon fruit, you have. If you haven't, you haven't. This is really good stuff. Again, I'm vaping at 5.4 volts with a 3 ohm cardo. And this is the Fat Man Vapors Fruity Tutti Baduti. I hope you guys have learned a lot about DIY today. I hope you guys can use it. I will leave links to all places that I've got material. Wizard Labs, I'll put a couple places for some plastic bottles. I'll put some for Perfumer's Apprentice. I'll put some for... Um, Let's see, I'll put some for some pipettes and some for some gloves too. I think it's very, very important that you use the gloves with the nicotine, but I'll get it all set up right down there and enjoy your vape. Fat Man Vape Reviews, Fat Man and I'm out.